Hello and welcome to BDE Travels in our Camino de Santiago. This will be our first episode between Santo Domingo de la Calzada and Belorado. We'll go through the Tano Granon where the girls will have another opportunity to practice their Spanish. After the Tano Granon, Ben Alisa and Damaris miss one of the signs. They continue to walk in the wrong direction for a few minutes. We walk through beautiful sunflower fields. In our next episode, we will meet Kevin from Germany. Furthermore, we explore more of the culture and history of the Camino. We visit the Knights Templar Church with many relics. Join us as we continue our Camino de Santiago here on BDE Travels. And welcome aboard. We just get it out of Santiago, Santo Domingo de la Calzada after a very nice rest. Yes. Did we you like that? Whole day. <laughs> Did you like that? Oh yeah, I needed it. I yeah. Needed, everybody needed it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, in the Camino you have to take breaks at least every six days or so, and uh, when you do, it really helps. How'd you find the uh, the city? How was it? It was very interesting. I, I really liked it. I didn't enjoy it as much because it was raining, so I stayed inside the Parador, and I really took full benefit of the rest. <laughs> yeah, we went a little bit out budget on the Paradores. Paradores are like the four-star hotels in Spain. They're more luxurious, the food is better, the accommodations are very, very good. Very uh, so to rest, I think it was uh, the right place. Uh, so we're heading now from Santo Domingo de la Calzada to Belorado. It should be around about 14, almost 15 miles or 20 something kilometers and uh, it's cold. It is cold. It's uh, around 54 degrees right now and uh, hopefully we'll get there sooner than later. Uh, so here we start. Uh, I don't know which morning is this one. They, uh, 14 I believe. Is it 14 so far? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so here we go. We're starting again. One more day, one more step in the Camino de Santiago. How was your day in Santo Domingo de la Calzada? It was good. You had like a whole bunch of orange juice. Three. Three. I stopped because if I took more, um, they'd run out of orange juice. Yeah, you would have taken all the orange juice of the uh, parador. How about the croquetas? You like the croquetas? Um, I didn't really take much. Uh-huh. Um, I was more focused on my orange juice. How about the paella? You have paella. It was less than okay. All right. So today, how cold is it? It's like zero degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's not that. Yes, it is. It's zero it's degrees. Four degrees, Donna. I was close enough. All right. And then we're gonna walk about 15 miles, about 20 something kilometers. What do you think about that? Yay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna keep on walking in the Camino de Santiago with Danalis freezing and very enthusiastic about walking 15 miles. As we leave town, we come across a Cruz de los Valientes, the Brave's Cross. This cross commemorates a medieval dispute between Santo Domingo de la Calzada and Grañón. Nowadays, it's just a reminder of an ancient dispute. Where are we? Walking. Right, walking where? that town over there. Yeah, what's the name of the town? Did you remember the name of the town? I forgot. Grañón. That. That, yeah. <laughs> so, but you said you were bored because you weren't talking, now I put you here and you're not talking. But you have to ask me questions. What kind of questions? The questions that you're supposed to ask. Like which one? The one that I just said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we're reaching the town of Grañón. It's, uh, I don't know, close to 8 a.m. in the morning. It's uh, cloudy, but it's not raining, so it's not bad. I mean, it's getting good. The sun's about to come off behind us, and uh, we're having a good time. Back there, somewhere are the girls. Right? Yeah, back there. Hi, girls. Hello. We'll see if we can get something to eat in the morning, right? You gonna eat breakfast? Um, I already had sort of kind of breakfast because I had a donut from yesterday. Uh-huh. Good. We're gonna make it to town. We're gonna see if we can find a place to eat. And then we're gonna continue to the next town yeah. until we get to Belorado. And we have a problem. What is the problem? My butt's cold. Why? Because water was leaking from my camel pack I and my butt's wet and now it's cold. Because somebody forgot to tie it correctly and now you're leaking water? 
cold. And it's ran, ran down. Cold. It's cold. <laughs> I thought it was a shadow. It's I know, cold. too. It's like, it's so, oh, poor baby. Oh, well, you'll get dry soon enough. Can we take a look at it? <laughs> well, that's just a reminder. If you have a camel pack and you put it on your back, make sure you tie it correctly. Otherwise, it'll be leaking water and then your, your buttocks will get wet. <laughs> We're going to Granyon. <laughs> you can edit it all, it's okay. <laughs> no, actually, that's very normal. I want to put that on video. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My butt's so wet. <laughs> What? I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah, we haven't had breakfast. So it's about 8.30 right now. And we're going to get a breakfast in Granon. Granon, they have uh, Barbacana, it's called. And they have uh, breakfast and all this stuff and other things. You're going to eat here? Yeah. Yeah? How about you, Donna? You're going to eat here? Yeah, I think I'm having something. I think I'm having a sandwich here or something like that. They have a bathroom and a Spanish, and she's doing very well now. She's ordering. Okay. Okay. You are welcome. I am training English too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's next? Okay. In español. Dile en español. Dos. Dos. De, eh, de chocolate. De chocolate. Muy bien. <laughs> A mí me sale en inglés ya. <laughs> Necesitáis cuchillo y tenedor? Sí, por favor. ¿Sí? Ah, they're doing very well today. The Tano Granon is a municipality of the autonomous region of La Rioja. It is the last village in La Rioja on the way to St. James. The town is part of the district of Santo Domingo de la Calzada and the judicial area of Jaro. The municipality's residents are known as Granoneros and Granoneras mainly farm the land and breed livestock, meaning that most young people leave the village to find other work in the region's capital of Logroño. Once you enter the town of Granon, I recommend you skipping the first uh, truck with food. Further down the road, right in front of the church, there is a restaurant called My Way, and uh, the people there are very friendly, the prices are a lot cheaper than the first restaurant, and they have a bathroom that you can use. Irinda, it's the owner, and her husband are from Peru. It will take good care of you. Eating on a small bar cafeteria, uh, it's called My Way. Interesting, they were playing songs from the U.S., Nat King Cole, Unforgettable, and other, uh, other songs. So the food was much better, the girls say, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was it? It was... It's, it's, it was it was cheaper. It was cheaper than the first place. It was better. Are you ready? It was cheaper. It looked and tasted better. No people were smoking, and there were no flies. That's what I was gonna say. And they were really nice to us. Yeah, there's a couple from uh, Peru, and uh, we did an interview in Spanish with them. So uh, it'll be on the other channel. But uh, I did enjoy that. I did uh, I did have fun uh, speaking with them. So here we are crossing the middle of the town of Granon. Uh, it's Sunday, there's nobody outside, and I don't think there'll be anyone outside because Sundays are sacred in uh, Spain. Uh, I like that. I really do. So, let's see what we do on the next town. You ready for the next town? Yeah. All right, let's keep on walking. exactly what it's supposed to be. Hey! You're going the wrong way!
water field. Look at how beautiful that looks. Very pretty. Very pretty. And we just got out of the town of Granon. We're walking and, uh, and uh, it's nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. All the sunflowers are waiting for the sun to come up and uh, cherish. Well, folks, this is the end of episode one on our trip from Santo Domingo de la Calzada up to Belorado. In our next episode, we will enter the region of Castilla and León. We we'll chat with Kevin from Germany as we enter Redencilla del Camino. We get a very special welcome from one of the locals. We visit a church occupied by the Knights Templar. We go through the town of Castile Delgado. We go through the town of Viloria de Rioja, where Santo Domingo was born. And finally, we make it to the colorful town of Belorado. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. And join us in our next episode as we continue our Camino de Santiago here on BD Travels. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And follow BD Travels on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and yeah, all that stuff. Bye.